Lessons learned. A few weeks before the end of the project, you organize a team meeting to capture some of the lessons that the team learned under the project. This is a good time before everyone gets too busy closing the project to document the lessons and share them with other projects in the organization that can benefit from it. You also invite the program director to participate in this session. For the meeting, you decide to use a simple process to give each team member the opportunity to describe a lesson they have learned during the project. It is a structured methodology to ensure all lessons learned are documented in a format that can help understand the context and facilitate the use of the lessons in future projects. The process consists of four questions they need to answer. What happened? Why did it happen? What went right or what went wrong? And what needs to be improved? You ask the team members to volunteer to explain a situation where they learn a lesson that they feel it's important to document and share it with the team and the rest of the organization. You tell them that they should not try to focus on blaming anyone, but on the lessons they learn and how it can help improve their work the next time something similar happens. Lessons from the program director. The person to speak is the program director. She recognizes that the second quarter of the project was difficult for the new project manager who came to replace the previous project manager that left only after managing the project for the first three months. The first project manager left without leaving any details on many decisions he made. There was no time for the new project manager to learn about the project in terms of how it was planned, structured, and organized. As a result, the new project manager had to spend too much time trying to figure out how the project was planned. She should have asked the first project manager to stay a bit longer to allow for some overlap in the transition of responsibilities and give the new project manager more time to learn about the project plans and organization. She will make sure this happens next time she encounters the same situation. Lesson from the project assistant. The project assistant is next. She wants to share a good lesson she applied in the project. She describes a situation early in the project that helped her team members in using the scheduling software. She learned in a previous project that one should not take any assumptions as granted. In this project, she was able to get all the progress reports from the team members on time. There was this initial assumption that all team members knew how to use the scheduling software, but she decided to be proactive and ensure that all team members sat with her for a short lesson on how to enter data in the system. She confirmed during the meetings that none of them knew how to use the system. As a result of the training she gave to her teammates, all the information on work progress was submitted on time. She was able to coordinate her support with the various team members and get the information she needed to develop the scheduled reports on time. She recommends that all staff should attend a brief workshop on how to use the project management information systems at the very start of the project, and that will reduce the risk of problems caused by delays in the submission of reports. Lesson from the construction manager. The last team member to contribute is the construction manager. He learned a valuable lesson regarding the need to understand the local culture and customs. Early in the project, he tried to use his typical managing style, very directive, to meet the project deadline. This is a style that he has used in previous projects and was very successful to meet tight schedules, but this is the first time he worked in this country. The use of that management style had the opposite effect. The beneficiaries working on the project were not responsive to his management style, and that created confusion and some conflicts. For his next assignment, he will definitely spend more time to understand the local culture and adapt his management style. He realizes that cultures are different and he has to show flexibility and adapt to the local customs, especially when working with beneficiaries and volunteers. <laughs>